This is a video for how to go about creating a rendering of your Keystone library placed on your Keystone library site in Autodesk Revit for your civil engineering class. You will notice that I have my Keystone library placed on my Keystone library site. I got a little bit of parking around here, although I don't have it lined yet. I went ahead and placed, you know, some trees through the massing and site, site component process around the outside. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an exterior rendering of this. So I want to go to my floor plans and I want to go to Keystone Center Site Plan. And you can see where we linked our Keystone Library onto the site. You can see, you know, our northings and eastings over here. We can see some sight lines. We can see some contour. A lot of different things we can see on the site. And we're going to act like we're walking on the site with a camera and we're taking a picture of it. So we're going to go to the View tab. We're going to go to 3D View. We'll go to Camera. And I'm going to act like I'm kind of standing over here off to the corner. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag, you know, right through the library. And it does look like we've taken for ourselves a camera and, you know, we're actually taking a picture from that side. And this is a three-point perspective view of the library. Now, I'm going to click on these joints and kind of drag up to here. And I'm going to drag left to right here like this so we can see some vegetation. And, you know, I need to turn on my... Uh, properties tab. So I'm going to go over to user interface and I need to go to properties so we can see some things. And within properties in this view, I can say what the eye elevation or the target elevation is. So just for the sake of discussion, I'm going to change my eye elevation to 793 and I'm going to say apply. And it does look like we got about three feet taller and taking that picture um, from a little bit of a taller spot. You know, I can continue to drag the joints down and move around and try to get an idea of where we're at. But just for the sake of the video, I'll stop it there. You're welcome to do the target elevation and the eye elevation a little bit different. But you can change that according to your to your personal tastes. Now, when we're in the View tab, we can do Render in Cloud, or we can just do you know a hard drive render that we're using your you know computer's memory and you know your graphics card and all that stuff on. You know, for the sake of discussing what Render in Cloud means, if I come up here to my Autodesk account and view my completed renderings, it'll take me to my Autodesk account, and it'll actually be able to see renderings I've done before in both Revit and Fusion 360. So you can see some things I've done in Fusion 360. Here's an example, you know, of one that I did in Revit a little while ago, had a little sunset in the background. Um, but, you know, this is a way that you can actually have access to your renderings, you know, anywhere you are, as opposed to actually being in the program. Now, for the sake of the video, we're going to click on render over here. What I just showed is render in the cloud. And we're going to choose a setting. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to choose a medium setting. And, you know, obviously, the better the setting, the longer it's going to take. So I'm going to go to medium. We're going to choose a screen resolution. If we we're doing a printer resolution, we can choose dots per inch on the side. If we want a super nice print when we print it out, we can leave it there. For scheme, we're going to stay in exterior only. But we're going to go to sun only. If you have exterior artificial only, some pretty cool renderings can be done. But you have to put a lot of time and effort into putting exterior lights on your library and your parking lot. But a lot of really slick renderings have been done to make it look like it, it's night. Pretty neat things to do. We're going to go to sun only here. And where it says sun setting, we're going to click on these three dots. We're going to stay in the lighting tab. But you can choose where you want your sunlight to come from, top right or top left. I'm going to choose top right just for the sake of time. Um, these other tabs up here at the top have to do with sun settings. And you can actually see what it would look like from the sun going up to the sun going down on a certain date at any place on Earth. It's a pretty neat process to go through. For the sake of the video, we're just going to stay here. You can change the ground plane level if you want to. You know, you can do a lot of different things with this for the sake of this time and discussion. I'm just going to leave that blank. We're going to say apply. We're going to say OK. For style, I'm going to go no clouds. You can have it be a cloudy day or a, you know, a really nice day with no clouds. And we're going to go ahead and go to render. Now I'm going to hit pause in the video. And when we come back, we're going to see a rendered uh, library. So we have for ourselves a medium level rendered library. You can see the brick on the outside. When I zoom in, you can see this isn't super nice or super pixelated. But when you, we went in and did wall layers and classes and, you know, you talked about what it's going to look like on, you know, just the shaded 3D view versus the rendered view. This is what the rendered view looks like. So when you do those brick exterior walls, this is what the bricks actually going to look like. You can see that I chose kind of that Autodesk standard window here, what that's going to look like. And you can see, you know, my rotating doors here in and out exactly what things are going to look like when it's actually built. Pretty neat thing to do. So we're going to say for the sake of discussion that this is exactly what I want. I want to save this. We have to go something known as save to project. And I'm going to call this medium render rendering um, exterior. I call it you know, exterior medium rendering for the sake of the video. I'll just leave it like this. And I'm going to say OK. 
Now we can go to export and you can export this as all different kinds of things, pictures, PNG files, bitmaps. We won't get into that too much, but if you just want to, you know, export an image of this, you can. So I've gone into saved a project and it is now saved a project. And in my project browser over here on the left hand side, you're going to see renderings and I can double click right here and there's my rendering. So any rendering you do, you can save it to the project if you want to keep it and it's all right over there. So this has been a video for how to go about creating an exterior rendering of your Keystone library on your Keystone Library site plan for your civil engineering class.